Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cynical, and this is Gems of War. And today we have the spoilers for the last day of the month, November 30th, 2020. About to be December. So let's get right into it. Weekly event spoilers for PC, Mobile, Xbox, PS4. In the background, just uh, farming the vault, like everyone else should be doing. Uh, let's see. Also going to do Switch after I'm done with PC Mobile, Xbox, PS4. Just by the way. Here we go. November 30th, 2020. We have World Event for White Helm. Sir Alamir comes in. Uh, also, you know, campaign like usual. Tuesday, Faction Assault for Silver Necropolis. So, I'm shouting it from the rooftops. Life and Death Weapon. If you hate that weapon and you don't have it, now's your chance to get it for yourself. Or if you see teams using it and you're like, man, I wish I had that, now's your chance. You need about, what, 400 gems, 500 gems, something like that, to buy it in the shop on Tuesday. So look out for that weapon on Tuesday. Life and Death Weapon, Silver Necropolis, Faction Assault, Tuesday. Wednesday, Pet Rescue, Peace Pigeon from White Helm. Thursday, Class Event, Priest. Uh, an okay class. Middle of the road. Get your 25 free gems. Unless you're a very specific person. Friday, we're going to have raids. It says Zong Mao. Shintang. So, to recap. Monday, World Event, White Helm. Tuesday, Silver Necropolis, Life and Death Weapon. Wednesday, Peace Pigeon, Pet, White Helm. Thursday, Class Event, Priest. And Friday, we have raids. So let's go check out, see if any of those troops are new, or if we have any extra new troops. Is there any new troops coming out? Uh, yes, Pharaoh Nefertani is coming out. Uh, I think it's the campaign um, reward for people that pay uh, for the campaign. Uh, Kitar, she has mummy issues. Arcane Lava and Mountain, base rarity Mythic, troop type Undead, troop roll Assassin. It's a, a mummy chick. Looks pretty cool. Everybody's been seeing her. I think she's on the, uh, when you turn the game on, she's the, she's the picture right now. She's what they're using as their picture right now. Or whatever you want to call it. Talon of Horus. Deal. Magic plus six damage to an enemy. Boosted by death marked enemies. Curse and disease all enemies. Uh, mana color red, yellow, brown. Mana cost 24. Maybe if you use that with Duskbringer. But it is an enemy. Um, disease and curse all enemies. Hey, it's a curse, I guess. Trait number one, Necromancy. Gain 50% bonus souls from battle. Trait number two, Undying. Immune to poison, disease, and deathmark. Trait number three, Pharaoh's Curse. Deathmark a random enemy when matching four or more gems. Well, that could be good and bad, because if you keep... Death marking the same enemy over and over. But hey, another necromancy troop. Uh, can never have enough of those. Also on Monday, November 30th, we have Sir Alamir. This axe is on fire. I think they've already done that joke before. Arcane Blood, base rarity epic, troop type human knight, troop roll generator. He is just a regular looking dude with a flaming axe in armor. Holy Fire. Create 8 red and 8 yellow gems. Deal magic plus 3 damage to the first enemy and burn them. Mana color blue red. Mana cost 13. So 8 red and yellow gems. Trait number 1. Undead Slayer. Deal double skull damage versus undead. Trait number 2. Reinforce. Recover 1 armor at the start of each turn. Trait number 3. Holy Armor. Reduce damage from skulls by 40%. Um, Friday, December 4th, we have Pan from Pan's Vale. Uh, the raid troop. Billy, don't you lose my number. Arcane, Light and Forest, Base Rarity, Mythic, Troop Type, Wild Folk Beast, Troop Roll, Striker. So it's a Mythic. Pan is a Mythic. Cool. So it's a goat, like a goat god. Like a ram. Like a whatever. Golden Horn. Deal magic plus... Deal magic times two. 
plus five damage to three random enemies and knock them to the back. It's like a super ram. Mana color green, yellow, brown. Mana cost 24. Or a Mamba Sira. It's like a Mamba Sira ram. Magic times two plus five damage. So what would that be? 70-ish. I don't know. I never know. I'm not good at that math. Trait number one, Wild Folk Bond. Allied Wild Folk gain two life. Impervious. Immune to all status effects, devour, and mana burn. And trait number three, Totem of the Veil. All Wild Folk allies gain one life and magic when matching four or more gems. So we're getting two mythics this week. That's pretty crazy. It's Pharaoh Nefertani is a mythic. And Pan is a mythic. So a mythic on Monday... Which, it's through the campaign, so I don't know if you'd get it Monday. I don't know if there's any way to re actually get it Monday. Uh, and then, uh, Pan. Oh well, yeah, I guess you could get it Monday if they have the... If they don't time gate you. Okay, so that's it. Two Mythics, though. And, uh, you know, the, the, the Pan sounds okay, and then the other one's a Necromancy Troop. And Sir Alamir does red and yellow, so... Nothing to complain about. Weapon spoilers. PC Mobile, Xbox, PS4, Colbatine Wand. Friday, December 4th. Shintang weapon, legendary weapon. Staff, striker. Uh, it's blue green, 14 mana cost. Colbatine Wand. <clears throat> Matt, explode. Colbatine Wand. Explode. Magic plus one red gems. Grant a random status effect to all Shintang allies, then summon a Shintang troop. It's not too bad. Uh, it has gain one magic, deal five scatter damage, silence the first enemy, and cause a random positive status effect on myself. So it's another exploder. And if you use all Shintang, you get a random positive status effect also. Or a random status effect. I don't know if that's... Negative and positive. And then you get to summon a Shintang troop. It's kind of like a jar of eyes. But not... Yeah, I guess kind of like a jar of eyes. It's blue-green. Isn't that exactly what jar of eyes is? Blue-green? But explodes red instead of brown? Huh. Anyway. So that's our new weapon. Doesn't sound half bad. So, everything's sounding pretty good so far this week. You know, not bad. Not terrible off Jump Street. Everything that we see, we gotta use it to see if it's good or not, right? You can only see so much from stuff on paper. Uh, but normally we can tell, okay, these are all trash. Or, this looks awesome. These, so far, are like, hey, maybe. Okay, so... No kingdoms, no classes, any pets... Uh, no pets. No pets. Next week we should get a new pet, though. The Hothead Pet. December 9th. Weekly, uh, Kingdom Power. Kingdom Power. PC, Mobile, Xbox, PS4. Kitar Kingdom Power goes to 17 on the 30th. White Helm Kingdom Power goes to 18 on the 30th. And Pale, and Pan's Veil. I said Pale. Pan's Veil Kingdom Power goes to 18 on the 4th. I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. Alright, so that's everything for PC, uh, Mobile, Xbox, and PS4. Two new Mythics. Uh, you got your World Events. You got your Life and Death Weapon. And that's the most important thing so far, you know. I'd say for, for you guys, for us, for us, it's two new Mythics. And a decent weapon, and a life and death weapon. That's awesome. All right, on to the Switch spoilers. So if you're not Nintendo Switch, see you later. Guess what? I started playing EverQuest, P99. If anybody knows what that is, and I'm really tired this morning because I played it all night, and that's why this video is getting out late. And I hope that's not a sign of things to come. If anybody played EverQuest back in the day, put it in the comments playing P99 on the green server. My laptop <clears throat> doesn't like it very much, so I'm not very good right now because of the controls. But anyway, let's get back to the what you guys are here for. Weekly event spoilers for Switch. Monday, November 30th. 
You guys have raids? Tyron and Rex? <clears throat> My voice just went out, sorry. <clears throat> no, <clears throat> Monday, November 30th, you have Tyron and Rex, uh, Drifting Sands. You have raids, Monday. Raids. For Drifting Sands. Tuesday, Faction Assault for Werewoods. Wednesday, Pet Rescue for Flutter. Drifting Sands Pet. Thursday, Class Event for Dervish. And Friday, you guys have Vault. So, very important for Nintendo Switch. You have the Vault Event starting on Friday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Make sure you get that Vault done. What else? So, the Raids, Faction Assault for Werewoods, Flutter Pet. Class event for Dervish. Nothing too crazy. Nothing that I should really point out unless Werewoods is new for you, which I guess would be on the weekend if it was new. Uh, so switch troop spoilers. Trihorn, Monday, November 30th. The Envy of All Unicorns. Arcane Lava, Arcane, uh, Arcane Lava, base rarity ultra rare, troop type monster. Troop Roll Striker. If I didn't say already, it's from Drifting Sands. It's a Rhinoceros. Right? Is that right? It's a Triceratops. My bad. Triceratops. Horn Ram. Deal magic divided by two plus three damage to the first enemy and knock them to the back. Repeat two more times. Mana color red-brown. Mana cost 11. Trait number one, co Clobber. Deal double skull damage versus stunned enemies. Trait number two, thick hide. Reduce damage from skulls by 20%. Trait number three, impervious. Immune to all status effects, devour, and mana burn. Tyron and Rex. Drifting Sands. We call them T-Rex for short. Arcane Shield. Base rarity epic. Troop type human monster. Troop roll striker. It's a dude riding a dinosaur. Dino Dash. Deal magic plus four damage to an enemy. If they are a boss, deal three times five times damage based on the ascensions. Then become enraged or destroy a row. Trait number one, leader. Gain three to all skills if in first position. Trait number two, thick hide. Reduce damage from skulls by 20%. Trait number three, god slayer. Um, we don't use either one of those, but if you like dinosaurs, they're dinosaurs, and they're not terrible, but we just... They're not used. They're not meta. They don't sound terrible to me, but we just don't use them. But they're dinosaurs, and they're not terrible. But they're not great. Uh, and you have to use the raid troop, so make sure you do that. Always use the, the raid troop for the raids. Uh, well, you don't have to, right? You just do more damage to the, bo to the, to the boss. But you should. Uh, you're getting Mother of Darkness on December 4th, Friday, December 4th, from Darkstone. Hello, Mother of Darkness, my old friend. Arcane Blood and Shield, base rarity Mythic, troop type Daemon Rogue, troop roll Assassin. It's a Mythic. You guys are getting a Mythic as well. Uh, Darkness Eternal, Mag deal magic plus four true damage to an enemy and the enemy below them. Boosted by purple gems. If an enemy dies, create 12 purple gems. Otherwise, summon two sisters of shadows. Shadows. Mana color blue, red, brown. Mana cost 24. Trait number one, dark death. Summon a dark storm when an enemy dies. Trait number two, stealthy. Cannot be targeted. Trait number three, blood mark. Inflict bleed on all enemies when matching four or more gems. You can do that with Slayer. Um, we don't use her. She's not good. It's a mythic. If it wasn't a mythic... But it is. I think that's it. Because the next thing is December 7th. So that's your new troops. At least you get a mythic. And a couple dinosaurs. And you get a vault event coming up, so... That trumps everything. Weapon spoilers for Switch. Nintendo Switch. Stinging Wind. November 30th, Drifting Sands, Legendary Missile Generator, Blue-Red, 14 mana cost, Stinging Wind, deal magic plus 7 damage to an enemy boosted by Drifting Sands allies. Then create a mix of 6 yellow and brown gems for each Drifting Sands ally. It's one of those, you know, if you're in a restriction with uh, Drifting Sands, you might use it, but 
Any other time you won't. It has Vital, gain 4 life, Rusty, eliminate 4 armor from the first enemy, Striking, deal 5 damage to the first enemy, and Dust, create a dust storm. Uh, Friday, December 11th is way too far away, so that's your only weapon. Um, you don't get a new class until Monk, which is soon. Next week. Kingdoms. The Deep Hive is coming at the end, at, on Christmas. Pet Spoilers. Pet Spoilers, Nintendo Switch, you don't get anything until Christmas. That's crazy. Weekly... Okay, Kingdom Power for Switch. Uh, Drifting Sands Kingdom Power goes to 14 on the 30th. Darkstone Kingdom Power goes to 18 on the 4th. And that is it. So, to recap... Nintendo Switch has the Vault event this upcoming weekend. That's very important. And you're getting a new Mythic. Um, and for everyone else, for PC, mobile, PS4, and Xbox... Remember Tuesday, Life and Death Weapon? We get two Mythics, one in the campaign, and one, I guess, you know, just normal through chess. They both sound interesting. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it, right? Was there one other thing that I was going to say? No. Two new Mythics and Life and Death Weapon, right? And, uh... You know, there was that weapon that was okay that explodes red. It kind of sounded like Jar of Eyes. I think that's it. But So yeah, Vault Event for Switch and a Mythic. For everybody else, two new Mythics. Most people will only get one if they, don't have, if they didn't buy the campaign. But still, it's a new Mythic. And uh, Life and Death on Tuesday if you don't have it, so make sure you get that. Anyway, like, share, subscribe. Consider joining. It helps a lot. Comment below, tell your guild, and remember, subscriptions are free through the month of December. So click that big red button, it helps a ton, and I really appreciate it, all jokes aside. Have a great day, have a great week, peace.